Dr. Dave David Warwick at Warwick Chiropractic in Lacey, Olympia, Washington. And today we have Dean, Mr. Pigman. He's a local farmer, organic farmer in the area, and we've known him for a while. We get our CSA through him. And he had actually had some surgery and had originally some pain down in the left knee right through here. Came in, was about a four out of 10. And I think we have it around one or two, but he feels it mostly Dean, are you still feeling when you do some walking outside of just it, working around the farm? That's correct. Okay. But we've helped uh, helped him with some of his low back ache and pain that's down in the lower back. We've been adjusting some of the knee area through here as well as using some traction heat as well as using some cold laser on there. So today we're going to do the same thing. Now we have been, has it been about... Two weeks since our last visit? Yeah, that's correct. Almost two weeks. I think I saw you just a week before I went on vacation. So how'd you do over those uh, past couple weeks? Well, pretty good. Overall? I, yeah. Okay. No new injuries? No new injuries. I find if I walk slowly, I'm okay. If I increase my pace, then it starts hurt a little bit more. So I'm trying to walk slow now definitely making some modifications in how and what you're doing. We've gone yeah. through that quite extensively. We even talked about some looking at the shoes and getting shoes that are, are comfortable and fitting to your body can be really helpful to reducing some of the pain in feet, knees, ankles, and lower back. So right now I'm just doing a light traction on him. We're going to increase the traction. Applying some heat to the lower back to loosen them up. Is that too hot on you, Dean? No, just fun. feels good. Nice to take a break from work for a little bit. I heard the traffic was bad out there today. Oh yeah, terrible. Was this coming up from Nisqually? No, it's coming from uh, downtown. I was in, I was in Olympia. Uh, was there an accident? I have no idea. I think it's all that construction up by the, by the fort. Okay, and while the table's tractioning, it's opening up the facets down the lower back as well as hydrating the disc. So I combine adjusting him while the table's tractioning. He responds well with that. And we're aligning the pelvis. So I'm right on the two joints called the SI joints. Now we're aligning the sacrum. How we doing? Good? Good, yeah. How's the crops growing? Well, they're, they're starting to grow pretty good now. Yeah, we're adjusting his lower back at S1 and 2. 5 and 4. Yeah, things are definitely starting to take off. I know in our gardens we started seeing a lot of the uh, cucumbers and zucchinis and uh, the beans starting to uh, grow quite a bit more. All right, Dean, let's have you go ahead and raise this leg without bending the knee. Back down, try the other one. Back down. A little bit of hesitation in this leg, so we're going to adjust the sacrum again. Raise this one for me. Better. So when we adjust the sacrum, our lower nerves in the lower back, you'll see increased communication in that leg. Go ahead, raise this leg again. Good, back down. And we're gonna adjust the pelvis, or hip. And his knee area, we're gonna adjust that. And we're gonna use some cold laser with him today as well. Okay, Dean? Fine. Alright. Set the cold laser on there and then we'll use the massager. So sometimes when people have chronic pain that's been going on for a while, you take different approaches and lighten your touch. I use some different therapies to help him 
relax through the hip area, through the lower back, and then we work our way down through the pelvis. You okay? Fine. Dean, did you ever get the uh, foam roller at home to use? No. No? I don't remember a discussion on it. We could talk about that again. And we're going to set the actual cold laser on the knee. This was something that we were doing to help assist with some of that pain in the knee. First, we use the adjustment in that area, get the knee aligned. And right there. So cold laser, you're probably wondering what that is. Cold laser essentially reduces inflammation in the area of pain. And there's two lights that are being utilized here. One's infrared and the other one's ultraviolet and it's targeting on a specific site. Maybe you can see that on my hand by the color right there. Good. So it reduces the inflammation. How it does that is by increasing ATP in the cell of the mitochondria. And we target that area through a certain frequency and through time. And so that'll change the pain level. So if you have that throughout the body, either in the knees, ankles, hips, shoulders, can be really helpful, especially around certain types of the dermatomes or myotomes or the nerves exit the spine. So while that's going on, we're going to also utilize adjusting here on the rest of his spine. You good? It's fine, yeah. Now we're adjusting the area where the nerve patterns go down through the knees. Take a deep breath in and release it out, Dean. Big breath, release. Good. Breath in and release. Okay. One last time, breath in and release. Laser is moving or on you there. I want you to slowly bend the knee for me and back down. Still right here, Dean. Still right there. Yeah. Right there. Okay. So they also did what happened when he had a surgery. They did some stripping of the either arteries or veins to utilize some of those. And this is actual surgery site. So a lot of times when you go in and you do surgery, uh, where they do removing some of the tissues or areas in the body there's areas of the nerves that especially through the skin that tend to take a while to regenerate so we've been using the cold laser one to reduce the pain in there but also to increase the function of his spine and nervous system just a nice traction good Dean, how's your care been overall since you've been here? Good. All right, so we did a few minutes. All right, let's see you raise this leg without bending the knee for me. Good, nice and strong. Try the other one. Back down. Good. Good. Let's have you lay on your back, sir. Cross the arms. Breath in. Release out. Breath in. And blow. Good. A little stiff there, huh? Yeah. All right. I'm going to have you move around this way for me. Thank you. 
do a nice easy traction right to the cervical spine okay. and an adjustment right there very light good all right i want you to go ahead sit up face a direction to your left for me all right sit up nice and straight breath in and blow out How's that, Dean? Good. Good. All right, I'm Dr. David Warwick of Warwick Chiropractic in Lacey Olympia, Washington. Thank you for watching. You notice how I modified some of my treatment compared to my past videos or other videos. Depending what the person brings in and what's going on, we change some of our styles or techniques. So thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.